Hey guys, Spooky Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be talking about all the recent horror movies I have watched. So stick around and maybe discover new movies that you haven't seen before. So I've been watching a lot of movies lately, so we do have a lot to talk about. Let's get right into it. So just started the series like decided to make it a series more like a couple weeks ago so I'll basically be just talking about movies and do makeup. Um, if you are curious about the makeup that I'm using in the video I will have everything linked down below. So a movie that I've watched recently uh, so one of the horror movies that I've watched recently is uh, Gretel and Hansel. I didn't really know what to expect in that movie. Like, I wasn't expecting much. Um, I was curious about it, but I don't know. I thought it was like... It just sounded like a cheesy Hollywood horror movie just from the posters and stuff and obviously like I said I didn't really know what to expect but the movie started and I don't know I just got this like like it just started off really well like on a good vibe I'm like oh this actually looks like it can be an interesting movie and I'm probably gonna compare it a lot to like a24 movies because I thought it was an A24 movie when it started like it really had the same vibes as like The Witch as it happens in like that kind of time and the visual effects and everything and kind of the symbolism kind of had the same vibes as The Witch but not the same story. But yeah, I usually go in kind of blind when I watch movies. Like sometimes I'll check out the trailer, but when they're movies that seem like they're not like super hyped up, I usually won't really want to see the trailer or really read reviews or anything like that. So the only thing I heard of it was that people seem to like it. So. Yeah, but I think the best part of the movie is really like all the visual effects. And there's a lot of symbolism in that movie. Like if you just sit down and like look at everything, like you'll you'll notice things. I thought it was a really good take on like the fairy tale. So it is kind of like a fairy tale horror movie. So there's not any scary parts to it. Like, I didn't really get scared. If you want to watch a horror movie and get scared, like, don't watch that. But, like, it's very occult, very witchy, and I just really liked it. Like, that's my type of movie. That's my whole aesthetic, and I still think about the movie. Like, the, the story itself was disturbing and like really beautiful so I'm just being really really vague <laughs> while describing the movie because I don't want it like I don't want to give out spoilers or anything but if you like the witch and if you like kind of like those type of horror movies you'll like this movie so the next movie that I watched that I want to talk about is the babysitter well actually the two babysitter movies not really gonna do like two separate commentaries on the movies because they are pretty similar. If you like one, you'll probably like the other. If you're expecting something different, I mean, it's not really that different. It's just kind of more of the same, but... Anyway, about the movie. <laughs> I really enjoyed those movies. Like, I know they've been, well, the first one has been out for a while now, but I never watched it. 
I I liked it. It was fun. Um, again, like, everyone probably knows how much I love Samara Weaving already. Like, she's becoming, like, one of my favorite, like, screen queens. So... She's the greatest part in that movie. Um, everyone else is. The situations are funny and not really scary. Like this is in both movies. Um, she is in the second movie. I know some people are saying, oh, I don't want to watch it because she's not in the second movie. Like she, she is in the second movie. But yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun ride. Like it kind of reminds me of the humor in like movies like Satanic Panic and stuff like that. It's like a fun popcorn horror movie, if I could say. And there are some gruesome scenes as well as some funny scenes in there. So I don't know. It's not to be taken seriously, but I enjoyed it. I liked both. Um, I know some people were complaining about the second one. Like, honestly, if you like the first one, you'll like the second one. Like, I don't know. There's not much else to say. Like, it's a pretty, like, Hollywood kind of dark humor, dark comedy kind of movie. But it's fun, and I think it's worth watching. Okay, so the next movie I want to talk about is not, it's not a newer movie. I just, I watched it when I was a kid, didn't remember much of it. Like I remembered the gist of it, but, but I didn't remember every detail. And anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, we rewatched it recently and... I remembered like a couple scenes that kind of haunted me when I was a kid, but that's about it that, from what I remember from the movie. And I'm gonna stop blabbering again. Um, we rewatched Event Horizon. Like I said, it's a pretty old movie. I think it's from the 90s. So yeah, I I really like movies like that that are just like. Well, I mention it all the time if you've watched me for any period of time, but I like movies that kind of make you question your sanity. And if that movie doesn't do that, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's definitely a ride. Um, it is a sci-fi, but it's not like... They don't fight aliens or anything like that. It's not like they're lost in space. They're just... The horrors that they go through in that movie is pretty much... Like their own struggles that they're faced with. So I thought that was like... I didn't really catch that when I was a kid when I watched that movie. But, like, I just really enjoyed that part and how, like, some of them just can't handle it. And, I mean, I won't tell you what happens, but, like, I like it when people have to kind of face their own fears in their own, like, weird, abstract way. And it's really hard to convey something like that in a movie, but especially when it's visual and you're trying to represent a horror that's not meant to be visual, but... And like, despite the fact that it's a movie from the 90s and it really does show that it's a movie from the 90s, there's some like, like the scenes and the interaction that the team has with each other and just like, kind of like everything that blows up at the end of the movie, like it's just, really really well done like I really if you haven't rewatched it recently like I really recommend rewatching it because I 
I mean, obviously when I watched it, I was a kid, so I didn't really understand what was happening. But re-watching it now, like I... I don't know, I just appreciated um, what they were trying to do and I kind of wish that this movie was, like it's still talked about, but not as much as I'd like. Like I don't understand why it's not more talked about, kind of, what I mean. There is some body horror in that movie, so if you have a hard time watching that kind of stuff, like, just a heads up, but it's not... It's not, like, gratuitous, and it's not... It's not, like, Saw or anything like that. It's... More of a symbol. I don't know how else to explain it without, like telling you what happens in the movie. While I was watching the movie, like, I think, was it you that said something about it? Reminding you of The Shining? Oh yeah, it's The Shining in space. Yeah. Like, it, it's exactly, like, plot for plot, it's yeah. The Shining. Yeah, I just didn't realize it until recently. <laughs> Cause, well, because I made you watch The Shining recently. <laughs> Oh, I got foundation on my hat. No. <laughs> That's my hat. I got foundation on your hat. How dare you steal my hat. So another movie I want to talk about is The Platform. So The Platform is a Spanish movie. Um, I think it's on Netflix. And it's sucked. So. I thought, I don't know if any of you kind of have an idea of what, like, the creepypasta backrooms is, but, um, I might just put up a picture here, but it's like kind of the idea that this place exists somewhere and it's just has nothing but it just conveys this like feeling of horror and I don't know why but it just gave me like a lot of backroom vibes it's a really really strange concept and it really does say a lot about our society <laughs> we live in a society. It's just, it just shows how, like when, when we're pushed in a certain situation and like we're, we're back against the wall and we have end up like having nothing like what what kind of things people will do in order to survive and it's just like so terrifying there's it's nothing paranormal it's nothing like like supernatural or anything like that it's really just like this could happen and maybe it does, I don't know. But the concept is absolutely terrifying and I, I don't know. I just like felt very uncomfortable watching the movie and like obviously people, um, the main character in the movie is 
trying to get, well, not really get out of that situation, but like kind of trying to get help or like kind of send a message. It's really hard to explain what he's trying to do without like telling you the plot of the movie. But he's trying to do good, like he's trying to help the people um, in his own way. And it's just, I don't know, it's heartbreaking. And like, there's a lot of blood, a lot of gore, but it's not like really what's scary in the movie. What's scary is just like what people are willing to do and when they're stuck. I know I'm being really, really vague right now, but I know some people don't like even the slightest spoiler, so I'm trying to be vague here. <laughs> and when I'm explaining movies, I'm kind of just trying to explain you the concept of it. That way, everyone's happy. Anyway, I like the I like the movie. Um, I definitely recommend it. It was such a weird concept and so, like, bleak. So another movie that we watched recently is Tusk. And I know it's a really, really polarizing movie. Some people absolutely hate that movie. Some people absolutely love that movie. I love the movie. It's just weird. And again, there is a lot of body horror in this one. If that's not your cup of tea, maybe don't watch it, but. And it happens in Canada, so that made me happy. But also it's just like, it's bizarre. Like, I really like the concept and like one of the characters seems to always talk in like proses, like in a poetic way and you don't really, like it's not really a spoiler, but it's just like something you notice. And I found it really, really fun. I don't want to get too much into it because I'm probably going to end up watching a lot of Kevin Smith movies and making a whole video on that because I know his movies are pretty weird and for a weird movie this definitely was a weird movie. So another movie uh, that we watched just a few nights ago actually was Books of Blood and it's by it's based on a book by Clive Barker so if you like Clive Barker definitely watch the movie. Um, it is an anthology It's an anthology, there's like murder involved, there's ghosts involved, and all the stories kind of they all connect together. Um and it is about like the book of blood and when you find out what people are after, it's just like, so strange. The ending was not what I expected at all. Like the very last scene was just, I, still have trouble wrapping my head around it. Like, what? And the last movie we watched was Becky. And... I thought it was fun. Um, there were plot holes, um, a lot of unanswered questions, so if you're not about, like, 
having like weird unanswered questions at the end of the movie. Like I got kind of annoyed at that, but trying not to think about it. But I like the concept. I like the story. Like I just very, there are some very gory parts in there and they were f like, some of it was obvious, some of it was like, you know, stuff you've seen a million times, but it was still like, it was a good time. Like, I really liked that movie and like Kevin James is in it. And honestly, like, I hope he does other horror movies because he was great in it. So I'm back and I noticed that I didn't put my eyebrows on. I'm so dumb. <laughs> But that's okay, because I can talk about another movie real quick while I do this. Um, I kind of forgot that I watched it. Um, but it is Carmina, which is... So, <laughs> it's very much a cult classic. It's not for everyone, but I really love it just for nostalgia purposes. So it's about a vampire that doesn't want to marry Vlad. And so she escapes to Canada in Montreal. And it's just, it's not really like a horror horror movie. Um, I think they just put it in a horror movie because of the vampires, but I think it's pretty great, but I might be biased. It was done in the 90s, so it's very, like, you can tell it was done in the 90s. I think the costumes are great, and, like, just, there were some really stupid fun parts in it, and I really, really enjoyed it. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. It is in French though. I don't know if there are subs. So I haven't tested out the YouTube subs. If you don't like it, please don't crucify me. <laughs> it's definitely a cult classic for a reason, but I really enjoyed it. So I just thought I'd put it out there. So those are the horror movies that I've watched in the last month and a half. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of the movies, if you have seen them, if you haven't seen them, but you plan on watching them, let me know as well. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday. So I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.